The next topic in congenital heart disease series, we are still talking about non-cyanotic congenital heart disease is ASD. ASD is a defect between left ventricle and right ventricle. As a result of this defect, the blood will move from the left ventricle to the right ventricle. Why the blood will move from the left ventricle to left ventricle? Because left ventricular pressure more than right ventricular pressure. Okay, more than right ventricular pressure. That's why the blood will move from left ventricle to right ventricle. So this is the first point that you need to remember. Anytime when you have pressure gradient between two compartments, the blood will move from higher pressure to lower pressure. And because there is higher pressure in left ventricle, so the blood will move again from right ventricle to where? From, sorry, left ventricle to the right ventricle. So this is first. Second issue is this. And the left ventricle you have already oxygenated the blood so this is the blood is oxygenated so this blood is oxygenated now you have more oxygen comes from the right ventricle so now the oxygen saturation is in right ventricle will be high and you already know oxygen saturation at right atrium is low oxygen saturation here is low because it's received already from the venous system so the oxygen saturation, this, that's, it will really interesting. The oxygen saturation in right ventricle is low, but, but the oxygen saturation in right ventricle will be high. Once you will see this discrepancy between right atrium and right ventricle, that's mean there is, uh, there is another, there is another, another part of the oxygen, another amount of oxygen comes from another part which is the left ventricle now the right ventricle received oxygen from the left ventricle that's why the oxygen saturation in right ventricle will be higher than the right atrium saturation this is the second issue the third issue is when you have more blood now when you have more blood to the right atrium you have now more blood comes from right atrium to left from left ventricle sorry to right ventricle and you already have more blood comes from right atrium right atrium or already have blood comes from right atrium to right ventricles now you have more amount of blood you have more amount of blood comes through the pulmonary artery so this is when you have more amount of blood comes through the pulmonary artery there will be arteriolar thickening and after that you will have pulmonary hypertension so again when you have an increased amount of blood flow of blood flow through the pulmonary through the pulmonary artery you will have pulmonary hypertension so this is just the third sequences of ventricular septum defects so you'll have here you will have pulmonary hypertension what next the next thing and the final things which is if you have no pulmonary hypertension now an increase afterload or sorry an increase the pulmonary blood pressure that's mean now the now that's mean the pressure now this the pressure in the pulmonary artery is in increase as a result of this increment in pressure of the pulmonary artery the right ventricle try to push the right ventricle try to push push more blood more blood to the pulmonary artery but unfortunately he cannot he cannot push more blood he cannot push more blood. as a result of this you will have right you will have what you will have right heart or right ventricular hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy why because of this kind of afterload problem so you will have right ventricular hypertrophy so again when you will have pulmonary hypertension the end of this will have right ventricular hypertrophy and increased right ventricular pressure now the pressure in the right ventricle will be more and more now the right ventricular pressure will be more and more left ventricular pressure and the end result of this the blood will move because of again the increasing pressure in right ventricle more than the left ventricle which is the opposite of the first time the first time right ventric left ventricular pressure is more than right ventricular pressure which is normally but at the end right ventricular pressure becomes more than left ventricular pressure as a result of this now the blood will move to the left ventricle now the blood will move to the left ventricle which is unfortunately now this blood is unoxygenated is unoxygenated blood so the left ventricle now gets unoxygenated blood
and the final thing oxygenated sorry and oxygenated lung and the final things there is a disease behind this issue we call it Eisenmenger disease Eisenmenger disease what is because of the right ventricular hypertrophy and increased right ventricular pressure now the blood will move from right ventricle to the left ventricle because of the pressure difference now the baby will suffer from Eisenmenger complex usually it is late cyanosis because of an oxygenated blood late cyanosis polycythemia and clapping late cyanosis clapping and polycythemia usually these are the main features of Eisenmenger syndrome again the final things what is the murmur what is I think this is usually really high yield when there is blood will move from the left ventricle to right ventricle this will create a murmur we call this type of murmur if you imagine this is s1 this is s2 and now it is wave-like murmur all the way from s1 to s2 from s1 to s2 we call this type of murmur hollow systolic hollow systolic type of memory we call this hollow systolic type of memory so again in the beginning there is no there is no problem the left ventricle pressure is higher than right ventricle so just blood move from left to right and as a result of this movement i will have hollow systolic memory the second thing i will right ventricle will receive more blood from right left ventricle so my blood now is going to the pulmonary artery and now i will have pulmonary i will have pulmonary hypertension i will have pulmonary hypertension as a result of this pulmonary hypertension the right ventricle the right ventricle start to push more and more and pump the blood more and more but unfortunately he cannot because of an increasing pulmonary pressure the end result will be right ventricular hypertrophy because of and the end result will be right ventricular pressure more than the left ventricular pressure as a result of this unfortunately now unoxygenated blood comes to the opposite direction come to the opposite direction to the left ventricle now the patient will have eisenmenger complex